Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. My name is Hal and so we're starting off again in Pokotaru and uh, it's the last time we're going to be here really, it's quite sad but you know we're all finished now and we're going to actually move on and do some you know story progression, we're actually going to progress in the story a little bit after all that sort of backtracking. We're going to head to Gemlik Base Altarnis Orbit. Look, we've only got one gold bolt to get. It's a bit of a doozy this time. But anyway, we'll get there. Moving on. Blast off. And we get a cutscene. Supreme Executive Chairman Drex Flagship, Altarnis Orbit. It is time to begin your new assignment. Ah, a photo up by your shiny new shuttle. Terrific idea. Oh, you really are an idiot. What? You are to take that shuttle to the moon base and ambush those two miscreants when they arrive. Oh, yes. <laughs> Who are they again? Uh, those two! Oh, of course. <laughs> there is just one problem. I'm, uh... Too washed up for ground combat? True. That is why I will be loading you my starfighter. You can still fly, can't you? It's settled then. You will acquire the Starfighter once you get to the moon. Screw this up, and the endorsement deal is off! <gasps> but that would ruin me! You wouldn't. <laughs> Try me. Wow, Cork really is an idiot. I mean, you know, massive, massive dumbass. But anyway, so here we are. Gemlik Base. Altana's orbit. Dun dun dun. Another space station. And this time we're outside pretty much most of the time, which is quite cool. See, so Clank's got his, uh. Clank? Ratchet. Ratchet. He's got his helmet on. And. Cutscene? I did not see Drek's ship. We must have missed him. Ah! Who knows where Quark is now? If we're gonna catch those two. We need a faster ship. Perhaps this space station will supply the ship we need. Well, we're here. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. But we'll get there eventually. Uh. So, welcome to, um, Gemlik Base. I can say it enough. I just got stock up on, uh... Ooh, we might be able to get a new, uh, weapon. Um, let's have a look. Uh, drone device. Oh, yeah, look, we've got the, uh, discount from, um, from the Persuader. Third off. That's not too bad, really, is it? Yeah, we'll get the drone device. The drone device is quite helpful, especially in this level. I'll explain why in a minute. We'll just stock up on ammo. Uh, can we get anything else? Deco gloves not really worth it. Walloper, no. Cool. All right. Oh yeah. Got some weird floating planet thing, and there they are. Um, the drone device basically works as a sort of shield. I mean, they were replaced later on by. Um, by an actual shield in the next game. Oh, I love the web, the uh, music from this game. This level. Damn it! Well, I do love it from this game, but yeah. I do love the music in this level. It's just so cool. It's kind of chilled out. Anyway, so gliding over here, we'll extend this bridge so we don't have to do any more uh, glide back, as you can see. And moving on, so we've got to go get up against these sort of pterodactyl robot things. I think the best ones, yeah, the flamethrower, I think is the best bet. Um, because it makes short work of these. These are actually, these only take one hit, as opposed to, like, the last, the uh, ankle biters, which were also the sort of cannon fodders of the last game. Um, we better just sort out. Oh, yeah, we need the, uh, we need the trespasser. I already had a quick select. That's weird. Um,. We'll need uh, we'll need the visibomb gun. We'll definitely need that. Um, 
I don't think we'll need the swing shot. So, should we use... Yes, try use the suck cannon in this level. You never know. You might need it. But we'll need the Visibomb gun for one particular reason, and that are these sort of tower things up there. Because you see that force field? They're controlled by these... Um, by these towers. You destroy the towers, you destroy the force field. We'll use the blast from this one because we can actually reach it. But the Visibomb will come in handy with uh, future ones where they're sort of out the way. Um, so, we're moving on. Ah, okay. It might be easier to... These things, as I only take one hit, it's nice easy to snipe these sort of pterodactyl things as well. If they stay still, there we go. And there's also a return of these guys. The guys who shoot sort of lava barrier things. You know, waves of lava. Weird gun. I mean, what kind of gun shoots a wave of lava? Plenty of bolt crates, though. It's just abundance of them. Which is nice and easy to snipe them. And, uh, ooh, quickly. And they only take two hits as well. I mean, apart from another enemy, which will come in later in this level, this level, the enemies are actually, you know, to kill them individually is quite easy. Drone glove! Okay, that's weird. But, um, yeah, I mean, the, the other enemies, they're quite tough. Right, we need the Visbon for this one because it's over that barrier. Yeah, we can't get through, shoot through the barrier as far as I'm aware. Let's get the Visbon gun out. And, uh, yeah, see, nice and easy. And of course, I only take one shot from the Visibomb, because the Visibomb is, like, all powerful. And, you know, it's. Ah! These stationary turrets are a bugger. It's pretty much what the drone device comes in so handy for, because, you know, you can just get past them. And then once you're past them, they don't really do that much. Um. I'll, I'll show on the next one. But. Yeah, once you pass them, the guys don't get off the turret or anything and try and shoot you. But uh, to get past them, there's usually a path where you can just sort of jump past them. I think this was the path here, but obviously I kind of just went straight past it because I've got the visible gun. Ah, infiltrator. Now this is the level where the tr oh trespasser. Sorry, this is where the the trespasser challenges get really tricky. Um, because there's like well, look for this one for instance, there's three of the blockages blocking ones things. I think the best thing to do is to work from the blocking things rather than the lights themselves. Make sure the uh, blocking things aren't in the way. Oh, well, there you go. That was simple. Oh, here we go. Another another uh, turret thing. The good thing is, is, the weird thing is, is that the drone device seems to go f and protect you even if you don't need protecting that much. But as I said, there's always sort of a nice path to get past these turret... Oh, what are you doing? weird. And I'll get these crates. These cannon fodders aren't too bright, are they? They're thwarted by a step. There we go. But yeah, once you get past the turrets, as I said in the last one, they don't do much. Look. Uh, hello. I'm just gonna touch your ass. Really hard. Oh. Nope. Thanks. And they only take one hit with the wrench. So, it's nice and easy. Ah, another trespasser. Is it trespasser or infiltrator? I can never remember. Yeah, it's trespasser. Right. Trespasser. Trespasser my bobs. Uh, oh god. No, that's not right, because that block is in the way. Um, right, so that one then goes over there. No, that can't be right, because that's blocking it. As I said, easier to go from where the blockage is. So if you line up the blockage in a place where it's not blocking something, then... Wait, no, that's not right. Uh... See, they're really quite tricky in this level. There's one later which is really, really tricky. Because it's, it's sort of optional. And, um, well, I think I've got it. Have I got it? Um, yeah, no. Come on. No, that, one, that can't be right because the blockage is in the way. Uh, oh, no. Oh, wait, I think I've got it. There we go. Right. Aha. Okay. So. Just make sure we've... Have we got the drone? Oh, we haven't got the drone device in the um, quick select. Right, we need that in the quick select. We don't need the bomb glove, so we'll get rid of that. And get the drone device. Right. Now we need to... Well, actually, we need to spawn the drone device. 
Right, yeah, spawn a drone device. So that will take care of the turret as we get past it. And then boom! Yeah, the drone device just makes this level really, really, really easy. Because, you know, otherwise... Hang on, have I missed something? Well, let's get... Snipe these things. Ah, right. Exploding, more exploding canisters. These are canisters that can be a bit tricky because they do explode and they've got a massive kill ratio. Hello, what's down here? Ooh, hello. Right. Uh, should I use the? What should I use? Flamethrower? Nope, because that won't get down there. Ah, ah, ah. No, no, bad, 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 bad. Ah, oh, messed that up completely. I th probably should have used the glove of doom for that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, oh well, at least we've got some bolts here. Um, Alright, moving on. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. So, um, let's get the flamethrower out to get, take care of these these last sort of... What, what should we call them? Ankle... No, not ankle biters. Terrorbots. No, dactyl... Oh, see? Yeah, they've got a massive kill. That was just stupid of me, really, because I just flamed that. Um... Anyway, right, so we got another force field, another tower, and we can't really get it from here, so we're gonna have to use the visit bomb. Here we go. Uh, and kaboom! Oh, hello. Ah, right, first entry uh, appearance of these jet fighters. Now, they're really weak with the visit bomb, as, all, as, as they were in Orcs on. You know, one visit bomb to the face. You might as well do that because it's just nice and simple and easy. Um, but because they can kill you quite easily, you know, if they, if one of their, I think one of their bombs is actually, because I think their bombs, they're quite hard to hit you, but I think it's one hit kill. I'm not sure, uh, because I've never really been hit by them, because I've always used the, uh, the, right, if we spawn drone device, there we go, so now we're now all nice up, stock up on ammo, and, oh, oh my god, another one, all right, there's a bomb, oh, two of them, ugh, right, get rid of you, and again, to get rid of you. Nice. And so we should get rid of these canisters quickly. Let's use the blaster. Ooh, should like train react. Yep, there we train react. Chain react. Well, it doesn't really matter because a train is like a chain. And it's like a chain on wheels. Can I hit you now? Nope. Oh, hang on. If I can hit you. And hit you. Yes! There we go. Nicely done. Alright, let's get these bolts and move on. See, the good thing is, is if you take your time, I mean, there are stages in this level when you can't take your time, you really do have to sort of run and gun. But if you sort of take your time with this level, snipe from a distance, then, you know, it should be. Well, you can. I mean, there are some parts where you can't. But hang on, I don't think I need that. Well, that way. Yes, there we go. Ooh, got nice full health now. Nice! And just get these boxes. But we don't need any more health. Oh man, we've got one health left over. Oh well, we don't need it, so whatever. And we can head down here. Oh, and there we go. Alright, ah, right. This is where things get a little bit tricky. Or start getting tricky at least. Just snipe these things because you know, it's nice. Oh, they're doing some weird dance. Uh, you shoot one, they both go down. Hang on, shoot one. Whoop. Whoop. Oh no, he's. Oh no, he's going back up. <laughs> go on, down you go. I can't get that one from here. Can I get it from here? Yes, there we go. So that's nice, taken care of. Now, this green slime is horrible. But luckily, I think I'm not quite sure. But I think this isn't like the acid in Orcs on. I think if you fall in this, use the high jump, so you've got a nice um, distance. But I think if you fall in the lava, this lava, um, it only burns you. It doesn't, you know, instantly kill you. Ah, right. Okay, we're here. All right, this is where things get a bit interesting. So if we jump over here. And get to this high platform so we're safe. If we look around, oh, there's another barrier. And what's that through it? That would be a gold bolt. Now, what you want to do is get the visible bomb gun out, and you see this hole here. We're going to launch a missile through into it. 
and we come out in here. Now it's a bit disorientating, but what we need to do is we need to find the landing pad where we started. There it is, see? Nice and easy to find. And there's our ship at the beginning. Now finding that, we need to turn around and from the way the landing pad is facing, fly that way. And you'll see this building with three portholes and a vent at the top. Fly down that, it's a bit of a steep turn, so turn nice and early. And there's a tower. And there's the gold bolt. And if we look round, it's faded! The barrier is gone, and we can sort of, we can jump into it. Ah, ah, okay, there we go. Right, let's get into it. And there's our gold bolt, the one and only gold bolt. Now I've heard that, because I've always ever gotten this bolt, gold bolt this way, but I've heard that if you, um, if you finish this level, go to a different level, and then come back, the barrier will be gone anyway. And, um, yeah, there's that, uh, vent. Oh crap! Oh wait, this hopefully. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I was right. It is. It does just burn you. It doesn't kill you. I messed that up. How did I mess that up? Anyway, moving on. But yeah, so I've heard that if you, you know, leave this this level, finish this level off, come back. Oh, we do need the swing shot. Oh, okay. Um, oh, great. I don't have it. my quick select. <laughs> Let's just get rid of these guys first, so we don't have to bother with them when we land. Oh, there's, there's two gone, just finish this guy off. Right now we need to get it out. Um, anyway, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, I've lost my train of thought. Um, jump! Oh yeah, right, yeah. So I've heard that if you finish this level off, and then come back, go to a different level and then come back, it will be down automatically, so you don't have to worry about the Visibomb thing. I've heard that, but I'm I'm not sure. I've always I've always done it that way. Right. Oh god, Magna Boot bit. Oh, I hate Magna Boot courses. Right, nice and steady. And... Ooh, it's a different colour. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe that means it's one death. Because I reckon if you fell off, you wouldn't be able to land back on here. So it would probably just make sense to kill you straight away. See, it makes sense. That's right, Insomniac being uh, considerate. So, what you want to do is start moving when it's going down. Instead of waiting till it's all the way down because you're going to run out of time. Okay, move yourself all the way. Oh, there we go. We're done. Oh, hello. I hate the fact that you can't shoot with the Magna Boots. You have to be... Ah, oh, what? No, I jumped. Oh, no, I've got to be careful with these now. That's oh, okay. It didn't reach me. Come on. There we go. Just get these out of the way, really. Right. Come on, come on. Go away. No, I just would get that one because I don't like leaving things undone. Right, on this bit, I think that if you shoot these things, that it actually means you can't make the jump back up. So I think they're integral to you shooting. And I think this is the only time you're going to need to do the long jump rather than. Like, the long jump is better than the high jump. So we're going to do a long jump. And. Nope, I've completely messed this up. Yeah, you do need to destroy those things first. Ah, oh. oh well, at least, you know, you don't die if you fail. So yeah, I think in retrospect, shoot those things. And then do a, I think a long jump where you would make it. What's that over there? Oh, that's how you get back. Right, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. I kind of want, nah, I can't bother to do it now. Let's go back out. So just know that if you do mess that jump up, you're just going to lose one health and that's fine. So, you know, oh, hello! <laughs> Whew! Close one. Right, so, oh, we got another barrier. How do we get that then? Oh, well, we'll just get rid of these guys. Oh, some more steps. What's around here then? Just finish these guys off. Um. Oh, wait. Now, where do I go? I can't go up there. And um, where's the. Where's the tower thing? Hmm. Oh, what's up here? Oh, it's a Gadgetron vent! Right, okay, let's stock up on ammo. Do, do, do. Oh, max out on that. What the hell was that noise? Did you hear that? It's weird. Oh, well, we're using the flamethrower a lot. And the blaster. Oh no, nine bullets. Whoops. Stock up. Blah, blah, blah. And. Get these. 
And oh, I see. Right. Okay. Well, let's get the visit bomb out. Charles, I probably could have done that flying up over the barrier, but this seems easy. Ooh, there's a fighter jet as well. Let's get rid of you. So we don't have to worry about you. Aha! Okay, I think I blew up a bit too early, but still got it. And moving on. Uh, let's get rid of these. Oh, okay. This I can see this being quite problem problematic. We've got no cover. That door's going to open. There's going to be a fighter jet outside. Um, or not. Okay, it's weird. Let's just snipe these. Ooh, okay, not so much sniping since it's point blank range. Aha! Okay, ooh, okay. Have we just gone in a full circle? I think we have. Well, that's silly. Why can't we just sort of get up here in the first place? Oh well, moving on. Ah, okay, this is. Ooh, wow, okay, well, don't get shot. Drone device. Ah, uh, this is that notorious thing I was telling you about. Well, this is going to take me a while. I might just edit this out. Um, let's see how I do. See, it's this is just ridiculous. Ah, uh, um, oh, such a mind bender. This one. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to edit this out. It's going to take me ages. Um, yeah, let's edit this out. Uh, uh, oh! Oh, did it! Right, I'm going to leave that up on the screen, I think, because I did that quite quickly. Oh, Jesus. Right. Did it, finally. It's such a difficult thing. Now, what that does, basically, it, it, it opens up this area where you can get behind and, you know, use these barrels to destroy the guys on the turret, except that didn't work. <laughs> well, they just take one bullet to kill. And there we go, that's it. So that'll make path going past this area nice and easy. Lovely jable. Uh, that makes me happy now. Now, there's another one of these later, I think, where you have to go past. And there isn't a trespasser tunnel. And I don't understand... Oh, God. Um, I don't understand how you get it, but... Oh, well. I'm just gonna... There is one where you have to sort of run and gun. Are they doing that weird thing where they sort of... Nope. Nope. Down. Nope. Nope. They can't make up their mind. Oh god, and there comes the guy with the running run. Oh Jesus Christ. Just die, die. Oh my god, there's a gu there's a couple of thingies. Run, 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 run. By thingies being not the technical term. By thingies I mean um jet fighters, space jet things. S star fighters. Yeah, let's go for star fighters. Ha ah, that's one down. I didn't see them, huh? Get out of the way, Dardactyl, thank you. And there we go. Um uh, I'll get rid of him as well, because I can't be asked to uh, deal with him. And they've just got that one last pterodactyl flying around. Oh, come and die. Come, oh. come and die! What are you doing, man? Come on! Come on! Come, on. come and die! Come and see your death! Come on! Come on! Hello! There we go! Right! <sighs> Wait. Okay, so moving on... Oh, let's just get these bowls. Ooh, ooh, do I need health? I think I need health. Oh, do I need health? Yes, I do. Oh, I've got one missing. And, um, so moving. Wait a minute, what's this? Did that look a bit. Oh! Oh, oh, I see! I think, and then these all got. Ah, right, so we shoot the. Do we shoot? Can we shoot up there? Let's have. Ah, that's how you do it. Gotcha. So that must be. We'll turn around the corner and there'll be that pool of them. Never knew that. That's 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 very interesting. <laughs> well, there you go. So on that bit with the two fighters, look to the right of the wall, and there are holes you can shoot visa bombs up. And uh, yeah, and we'll come up here. Get these boxes. I wonder what these green markings on the floor are. They look like targets. Hmm. But yeah, turn around and... Ah, uh, yeah, this was the bit I was talking about. Where there was no... And... what? The, how did they get up? Without, like, their poop chute or something. Yeah, I just fired a rocket up their poop chute. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well, now where do I go? Um, not there. 
Uh, oh, okay, there. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Oh, God, this bit. Right, remember earlier when I was talking about there was going to be a bit where you can't take your time. This is that time, because we're about to go into a massive room with lots and lots of uh, swarm thingies, the pterodactyls, with spawners, and a handful of uh, soldier people as well. And we can't snipe from up here. So, um, I'm going to run and gun. Just run around. Oh, I need to... Oh, yeah, drone's going to be good. Drone will be good to have out. Oh, crap. I did not see that coming. Gonna die. Oh, my God. Oh, the carnage. Ah, uh, I'm going to die. Ah, uh, I don't like it. Oh, okay, I'm dead. All oh, right. Let's try that again. Uh, wow, you can keep walking that long? Right, so I've already got the drone device spawned. I'm just going to spam with the Glover Doom this time. Just use the Glover Doom to spam. Just run and gun. Ah. Just run, 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 run. Oh my god, and jump over the pterodactyls of Doom. Oh my god, that was a bad idea. Well, at least I've got one of the spawners out of the way. Um, keep going, keep going. I, can I get that? Ah, no, bugger off. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Oh, this is not good. Ah, run away. Oh, screw health. Go get the health. Go get the health, Ratchet. Go get the health. Oh, thank God for that. Right, okay, so I've got one drone, 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 drone glove. Oh, God, there's loads of them. Um, how many, uh, do I look, dare look behind me? Oh, my God, no. God, oh, there's tons of them. Where did all those men go? Oh, great, I'm out of ammo. Run away. Right, what should I do? What should I do? Um, um. Ah, uh, crap. What should I do? I've run out of ammo. Ooh, there's a spawner. Let's get the spawner. Yes, right. So that's one lot of them done. I uh, can't wrench them because they're going to keep coming up from behind me. Uh, what do I do? Wait, I've got an idea. Um, oh, I wish I could strafe. I really wish I could strafe. Um, oh, wait. Well, I need the drain device. Wait, of course, we can use the... um. The thruster pack. Aha, that might make it easier. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Uh, suck cannon. Let's try the suck cannon, actually. Hey, that worked. A treat. And then we can shoot. Hey, so the suck cannon is useful. And what do you know? Oh, that's it. There we go. All right. There's a bit of advice for you. Try using the suck cannon. It's surprisingly good. <laughs> It's not something you'd really want in an advertising campaign, really, was it? Suck cannon. It's surprisingly good. Oh, God, no. Right. Oh, God. Yeah, so. Um, that's how I did it. I reckon I got no really advice for that bit of the level. Just kind of run and gun, try not to die, and shoot as many people as you can. But use the jetpack, because it helps you strafe. Right, now, where are we? Ooh, I think we're right near the end. Right. Yeah, okay, there's the ending. So I'm going to leave it here. And in the next episode, we're going to go and take on Quark in an epic space battle. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I've been Hal Diamond, and I will see you next time. Cheers!